Okay, so let's work through our answer choices. So the first one, fewer patients will be required to attain statistical significance. All right, so what is statistical significance? So what we're saying here is, say we study this group, and after a year we see that the mean number of hospital admissions is 10. You know, that's just the mean, right, mean. Okay, and then when we look at the combined group, we see that that mean, the mean is like 1.2. Now from the get-go, when we look at this, we see, okay, well this one's 10, and this one's 1 1.2, so it seems like, you know, the combined therapy seemed to have an effect, right? It seemed to reduce the number of hospital admissions. Like the mean in this group was only 1.2 hospital admissions in the year, whereas in this one, when we were only giving albuterol, the mean number was 10. So we want to say that this is significant, but there is a certain likelihood that the result we found was simply due to chance, so that really the difference in the two groups didn't have to do with the medication, but it had to do with random chance. And that, of course, has to do with the degree of variation in each one of our groups, something you can study that in many ways, most typically it's standard deviation. And we're not going to get into that here, but simply realize that the further apart these two means are, and the more narrow the standard deviation is, the less likely the difference between these two groups was due to chance. Now let's think about this group. Let's just say the same thing. When we studied this group, we saw that the mean number of hospital admissions was 10, and in this group, the mean number of hospital admissions was 1.2. Now here's the thing guys, we're going to run the same sort of statistics on a prospective cohort study as we would on a randomized controlled trial. Just because we like to think of the RCT as like the better study, the gold standard, doesn't mean that the stats that we run on this study is going to be any different than this one. It's the same formula. We have to use the same formulas to compute the standard deviation and to compare these two means as we would these two means. So just because the RCT is the gold standard, doesn't mean we can use fewer patients. Statistical significance is determined by the statistical measures that you choose for your study. And those, of course, are determined by a formula. In either study, if you enroll fewer patients, you're actually going to need to see a greater difference between the means than you would if you had more patients. And again, it does not matter which study you choose, RCT or prospective cohort. So this one we can rule out. 